first off, I am a husband and I have four kids. My wife, my youngest baby, is right there, Jackie and Lucy. So, so once again, um, my name is Henry Frondorf. Um, I love history. In fact, I have a degree in history. I got to spend a year over in England where I really developed that, that real deep love for historic structures and how they actually maintain their buildings over there. And when I had a graduate degree of history, I realized that I didn't want to actually teach or anything, and I found my way somehow into construction, right? So I'm the pre-construction manager for Lithgow Restoration. And uh, so my career is historic preservation and restoration of structures. So I do this for a living, I do this every day. I'm a uh, certified professional estimator. I'm also a lead AP, which means that I understand uh, green building, environmentally friendly design. Now, I've been in dozens and dozens and dozens of buildings, and over the Rhine, West End, you know, Our Lady of Perpetual Health in Sedansville, um, the, uh, the old um, theater, the Regal Theater in, uh, on Lynn Street. You know, I've walked in these buildings, you know, stepped over a dead raccoon, you know, um, and uh, you look around, you see there's like no more floor. You look up, there's no more roof, right? And we've been able to save a ton of these buildings. You know, we've lost a lot. But there's been a great groups, you know, 3 CC Port Authority, uh, private developers have been able to step in and fund what's called stabilizations, right? And we have a, a ton of great restoration firms in the city that, that have the, the man and women power to make these things happen, right? So uh, we need definitely to fund stabilizations uh, in the city. We have a lot of buildings north of Liberty that are in bad shape, and we need to make sure that we spend the money uh, to get in there and fix them before they fall down. So 10 to 15 years down the line, when someone who actually has a lot of money comes around and uh, wants to put an end use to it, um, they're still there. They're still standing. Um, lastly, I'm the founder of the Cincinnati Neighborhood Games, which some of you may know me. I'm also the vice president of Western Civic, and I'm a big a proponent of uh, historic preservation. Thank you. Once again, my name is Henry Frondorf. Uh, I think my top three, uh, one, we have 28 uh, historic districts in Cincinnati. I believe only 23 have actual cons conservation plans. Uh, so we need to get all 28 up to par and make sure they all have conservation plans. Uh, one, one neighborhood that does not, uh, Westwood's historic district does not have a conservation plan. That's, that's important to me. On our conservation board, uh, right now there is no estimator. Um, and a lot of times uh, when people say, let's tear down a building, it costs too much. Uh, there's not really anybody on that board that says, wait a second, that smells funny. So I think that's important. Um, we can keep it at seven. I believe we have two architects. We can maybe just slide an architect out, put an estimator in. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, my, my third would be uh, stabilizations. Um, like I said, that's what I do for a living. Uh, we need to make sure we have a fund that actually saves these buildings that are not in great shape, that are you know, either uh, you know, the wind or rain's gonna take them down, and stabilizations are simple. You just make sure the roof works, get the water away from the building, make sure it's structurally stable, so uh, you know, our firefighters and police can get in if necessary. So stabilization, uh, it doesn't cost much money, but it does save our past, um, and, and that's extremely important. Uh, 